day. All right, ladies, let's do this. We're going to do circuit using five exercises. Let's start with the demos. Uh, first exercise we're going to be doing is mountain climbers. Um, we're going to have our back flat and we're going to be pretending we're running off the sprinter blocks, okay? Putting our knees in, really pushing off the toes of our feet and pushing those knees in. And if you need to put a knee down, depending on what level you are at, beginner to advanced, you can throw your knee down on the ground uh, to take a break. Now, also, we are going to be doing um, what is called a froggy. And a froggy is really going to be working those abductors. So you're going to be sitting on the ground with a band or without a band. Um, so you just pick the resistance uh, that works for you. Put it around your knees. You're going to lie right back on the floor. And um, we're going to have our feet together. And we're going to be lifting up and splitting our knees apart as if we're doing the abductor machine. Squeezing at the top of the movement. Okay. Next up will be push-ups. Now there's three different variations because like I said, beginner to advanced. Um, if you're just starting out with the push-ups, you're going to be doing what is called a penguin push-up where you're literally lying flat on the ground with your chest on the ground. And from there, you're just going to be raising your chest and your shoulders up using your hands. So nothing else, your hips can stay on the floor and that's a good entry level until you build your strength and then you can move up into your knees. So if the intermediate version is on your knees, and then if you're able to do an, an advanced version, you can right on your toes with your back flat. And we're gonna be flipping over, working our abs and doing Russian twists. We're gonna be sitting on our tailbone. If you don't have a weight, you can use your jug uh, to twist side to side. So we're gonna be leaning back on our tailbone, side to side, whether you have a dog food can, uh, weights, whatever you have. Side to side, and then we're doing walkouts as the final burner. Um, so we're going to be tracing our toes and walking out. Try and keep your legs and your knees as straight as you can. However, if you find it difficult, bend the knees if you're just starting out, if you're just a beginner, and you walk out slowly, stretch it out, and then you're going to walk toward your toes. And again, try and keep your legs and your knees as straight as possible, letting your abs do all the work, contracting the glutes. Um, and if you need to, then just bend and fold up your knees and your hips. Great, so we're... We're gonna set that clock, and here we go, working for 25 seconds, working with mountain climbers. And here we go. Good. Strengthen the core, tighten the core, stick those knees right into your chest. Push, 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 push. Keep it going, make sure you're breathing in and out at a steady pace. Good. Slowly turn over. It's a quick rest, I know it's only about 12 seconds. Get your band out if you're gonna be doing your band. You're gonna do the froggies, otherwise um, you can put your hands on the outside of your knees. Lifting up and doing an abduction. So we're gonna be doing boot thrust with an abduction. And up and separate. Up, really squeezing those glutes. We're activating the glutes, working the outer glutes and thighs. Core is engaged. Breathe. Separate at the top of the movement. Good. Get the band off. We're gonna get ready for those push-ups. And I might even throw some miscellaneous moves in here. So again, do those penguin push-ups. Leave your chest on the ground, or you're on your knees, or full push-up. Whatever works for you. Here we go, 25 seconds. Breathe in and breathe out. It doesn't have to be perfect, just try your best. Push yourself, because that's where the body grows, the muscles grow. And that's why I'm demonstrating all three, whatever works for you. Okay, flip over. I know it's fast, right? But this is where we burn. Little rest, maximum capacity during the time we're working. So grab that jug, food cans, bins, whatever you have if you don't have a weight. Leaning back on the tail of your bone, and you're going to be contracting your abs, that's key, and going side to side, mid-tempo, back and forth. There we go. And hold, hold. If it's too difficult, you can go forward. You see how quick that goes? Walkouts, last one for this round. 
Remember, try and keep those legs straight, knees straight, collapse at the hips, trace your knees. But if you have to, go ahead and bend. And out, and in. Working the arms, working the core, full body movement, part of the hip principles. And as fast as you can, take your time to what suits you. Yes, and this is already going to be the last round. Shake it out. Look at how quick that went. So we can burn calories all day or all night long. All right, get ready for those mountain climbers in position. Contract the abs, contract your core tight. Here we go. Kick those knees in. Kick, 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 kick. Light on your feet from the toes. Remember, drop the knee if you have to, but kick, kick. Don't hold your breath, making sure you're breathing evenly in and out. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Pop a quick drink if you need to. Otherwise, grab your band and we're going to the froggies. We're going to be doing a hip thrust with our back flat. Just contracting the abs, squeezing the glutes before we even start the movement. Contract, fire them up. And down and up. Good. Glute activation. So you should be firing up those glutes. Do not let those glutes relax. Core is engaged through the entire movement. Pressing out and up. Get ready for those push-ups, whatever you desire. Again, penguin on the knees or flat. Make sure you're activating your glutes in every movement. That's the great thing. Engage your core is that we are doing this. Cross training, always engaging the glutes and the core. No butts in the air, back flat. And again, switch up to the knees if you find it. Even just push yourself. Switch it up. Okay. Russian twists. Like I said, we are only working, uh, I think it's about 21 to 25 seconds with a quick 10 to 12 second rest in between. And as I'm facing forward, you'll see how I lean back. If that's too difficult, just start creeping forward towards your knees to make it a little bit more easier for you. But you know me, I'm always gonna push you. Breathe it out. And we're already getting ready to do those walkouts. And round two will be done. Engage the core. Activate the glutes. Think of that as your staple Bible thing. Every time you do an exercise, walk it out. Here we go. Engage the core. Your core should be pulling you up and not your legs. Use the core muscles to pull you up. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You just gotta exert to the best you can. Good. Alrighty, how we doing? How we doing out there? Alright. Mountain climbers, here we go. In your in your chest. Push, 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 push. Push, breathe, push. Go to the froggies. Grab your band. So we're going to be hip thrusting up, activating the glutes before we even start the exercise. Flexing our core, engaging, and then doing an abductor, splitting your knees apart. There we go. All in one and up. Put the weight on your hips if you want to make it a little bit more difficult. Whatever works for you. Would you believe that this is round three? Yeah, ladies. Excellent. Let's turn around. We're going to be doing our push-ups. Okay. Are we ready? And here we go. Get that penguin going or on your knees. Engage the core. Here we go. You should be squeezing your butt. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeezing your core. No jiggles. No jiggles anywhere. Drop on your knees if it's too difficult. Yeah. Excellent. And on to the Russian twists. Actually, I think I missed one. <laughs> so we're going to be doing walkouts because I talk too much. So on to the walkouts, you get a break. 
walk up and walk out. Good. Use your abs to pull you out. See what happens is I talk too much and I forget where I am. <laughs> Good. Excellent. Whoa. Three down. We're on number four. Let's do this. And it's amazing how hard you've worked in a simple mere 20 minutes. Get ready. Knees into the chest. Here we go. Last round. Make a count. Push yourself. Push yourself. Yes. Push them in. Off the toes. Squeeze those abs. Excellent. Yes. And around. Froggies. Glute thrust up. Again, activate those glutes. Squeeze them before you even start that exercise. Engage. Engage the core. And spread those legs open. There we go. From the knees. Split them open. And up and spread. Yep. Here we go. Squeeze. And you're not putting your hips back down on the ground. Squeeze. Keep them elevated. <laughs> ready for those push-ups. I know by now you should be feeling winded, but be proud of yourself. You're going to push it through. You're going to be finished in less than 20 minutes, burning calories, elevating your metabolism. Take a deep breath. Make a count. Here we go. Remember, drop that knee if you need to. And push it out. Don't hold your breath. Contract the abs. Squeeze those butts and glutes. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Breathe. Good. Good. Two more exercises. Russian twists. Do them towards you so you can see. Remember, lean back to make it more difficult. Or lean forward closer to your knees if you need to make it a little bit more easier for you. Side to side. We're picking up the pace a little bit here. Lean back on that tailbone. Breathe it out. Breathe it out. Walkouts. We're on there. Last one. Make it count. Make it count. Really use your core muscles. Try not to use the knees too much to pull back up. Hell yeah. Because that's what we do. Come on. Ditch the core. Breathe it out. And back out. Excellent. Excellent. Good. You did it. You did it. Congratulate yourself. Wow. Shake it out. We're going to do a nice warm down. This is that uh, feel good moment. We're going to drop everything. Center our focus here on the present. Don't think about anything else. The dishes, the family, everything is right here. It's all about you. All about you. Shake it out. Gratitude. Congratulate yourself. And we're going to slowly rise up. Take a deep breath. Arms over the head. Stretch right out. Deep breath. Hands are loose. And leaving your mind here as we drop everything. Push the ear out. Drop it on the ground. Nothing else matters right now. We're nourishing your soul. Nourishing your mind. Gratitude for our accomplishments. Take a deep breath. Here we go. Slowly get back up. Again, hands over your head. Deep breath. Self-care is the biggest form of gratitude to yourself. Drop it all on the ground. Exhale, push all the air out. Let it all hang onto the floor. Slowly get up. Around the neck. And thank you. Be proud of yourselves and I'll see you on the next workout.